in the ribs. Okay. Because we're going to share. Nah. <laughs> nah. No, but this is a big problem. I like to pick off of other people's plates. She's going to have the ribs, and right. then can I have a steak, please? We didn't agree that, but okay. So you're stubborn then, yeah? I get my own weight every time. Every time? Every time. Oh, hell no! <laughs> like, no is never the answer. No! I love shopping. Just spend a lot of money on your outfit. No. Nah. It's not happening. I ordered the ribs. You eat the ribs. Bye, see you soon. Bye. I think if you're out, you should put your phone away. Babe, it's rude. I've realised there's a lot of opposites between us. I text my friends a lot. Yeah. I like someone that I can eat my food from their plate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe you need someone to teach you that you don't always get your own way then. Okay, that was a super awful date. Plus, many of us would have just left so quickly. Next, we got a guy who did not let pressure get the best of him. Can I wait? Or an iPhone 15. iPhone 15. Why? I already got one. I can make some bread off that. But you've never had me, so why do you want something you already have? Because money's better. Damn. Rejected. How many baby daddies you got? Six. Oh, come on. Oh. Here, uh, yeah, die, die. I can't, yeah, man, that's that blue beat, blue, blue. Got my I don't even know how to got, got, got there from the start. Six, and somehow she's still looking for more, but it's just so hard to believe how that's even possible. Now, brace yourselves for this next call involving an unfaithful wife. I love my husband. You don't, hold on, hold on, you don't, and you have heard him, so that, that ship sailed. About six months ago, I entered an affair with another man. Okay. Um, and at this point, I and it started out as something fun. I know that's stupid, um, but it turned into something a lot more emotional than I expected. And now at this point, I just I don't know what to do. I mean, I do know what to do, but I don't know what to do at the same time. Like, I know cheating on my husband is wrong, but at the same time, I have really deep feelings for this other man, and I'm in love with two men at the same time, and it's just very difficult. What's difficult about it for you? Well, it's because I love my husband. You don't. Hold on, hold on. You don't. And you have heard him, so that, that ship sailed. Like, what's hard about it? I just don't know what to do at this point. I, I mean, I, I, my husband doesn't know um, what's going on. Um, the other gentleman does know that I am married. Um, and I don't want to leave my husband, but I don't want to break things off with this other gentleman either. So let me, and, let, me put, let me give you another side to this, okay? So, yeah. number one, I don't think you love your husband. I don't. I think you love the idea of the security that seven plus years of, of quasi-stable relationship brings. Yeah, two years of that behavior while married is just unacceptable. And love is about prioritizing your partner and not just yourself. Next, we got a guy with some misconceptions on the effect of money. What is going on here? If you're making anything under $50,000 a month, you're not a man. All right, life starts at $50,000 a month. And me, I thought life starts when you are born. At $3,000 a month, you can afford to do whatever you want. No, you can't. Bro made three statements so far, and they are all wrong in every direction. Bro is immune to correct statements. You're just poor. It's okay. Go make some more money. Sounds like the type of person that will tell you, if you are poor, just go and buy more money. At $3,000 a month, this is where life truly starts, and you're just not living right now. Bro thinks waiters and dishwashers are ghosts that need more money to become alive. Gee, subscribe on the motorbike. It's not the one got money. It's the one us. And not too many of them money nowadays. Oh, yes, you can. If you, yes, yes, you can. There's some good men out there. Let me tell you something, Amber. You got to give a man respect to get respect. You know what I'm saying? You got to give your husband respect to get respect. You've got to give respect to get respect. So that's just some great wisdom here and it seems like the old school mindset is superior. Next we got a great wife. That you're thankful for but don't tell often. My husband. What's she saying? 
I'm thankful for you, but I don't oh, tell you all. Yeah, that's true. You never did. Why are you thankful for him? Um, because he does a lot. He works really hard. He's a coach. He's a good father. We have seven kids. So, oh, thank yeah, I'm thankful for him. Nice. If we had a fight, how would you make it up to me? Contestant number one. Hey, how are you? I missed you. Um, <laughs> so I would gaslight you into <laughs> you thinking you're the problem, and then I would <laughs> you emotionally to you get to a point where you only get satisfaction from me and if I tell you you look good or anything like that, and then I would start slightly treating you better so you'd think I'm changing. And then I w it would be this off and on until you're almost hooked for life. And I'm like, almost like a to you, where even when you're not around me and we break up, like you're yearning for me like nicotine. Oh, and if that doesn't work, I'd get uh, go to a movie. <laughs> <laughs> if all else fails, a movie, okay. All right, who are you most attracted to? The first one, the black jacket. Hey, bro, come on now, dog. She just had to pick the most toxic one, but we can just hope that she'll learn eventually. Next, we have an ex-wife whose divorce celebration didn't go as planned. I'm supposed to be divorced today and I'm not, and that sucks. <laughs> I filed six months and one day ago, and I thought it was supposed to be six months, and which would have been yesterday, and then I read somewhere a couple weeks ago, it's six months and one day, which would make today, and it still says open. I am upset about it, and that sucks. I got myself an entire cake. I have bottles of champagne waiting for me. I'm about to order my favorite pizza. Like, I just want to celebrate this being complete, and it's not. There's no reason for it to take long. It's literally the simplest divorce you can get, fortunately and unfortunately. Um, so he asked me what's wrong, and I said, I'm fine. You wonder what he said? I would be willing to bet I already know the answer to that question, as most likely does everyone else. He said, okay, good. Who here is surprised that he said that? What do you mean, okay, good? What part of I'm fine means that I'm fine? What's wrong with these people? <laughs> Please take the following into consideration. 99 times out of 100, if a guy is told by a woman that she's doing fine, he's going to believe her or else he's going to assume that she doesn't want to talk about it since she said she was doing fine. Why press the issue? What part of I'm fine means that I'm fine? But it's just so hard for your brain not to hurt trying to process that line. Next, we got an interesting perspective on a lack of appreciation. No, I'm, no, I'm no longer going to be an option for anybody. You think I'm going to come into your life and make all that effort and all I get is one word text and sometimes you just disappear? That's not how this works. Sweetheart, from now on, as soon as someone doesn't prioritize me, you know what I do? I delete them. And you know what I, you know what I treat them like? They never existed. The moment someone treats me as an option, the moment someone doesn't give me the effort or the respect that I deserve because I'm trying to make the effort to get to know you, and I also try to set up dinner dates and try to get to do breakfast dates, I try to work with your time. But as soon as you show me that you don't have time, seems like you suddenly don't have a clock and you don't, you work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, guess what, sweetheart? You are considered no longer existed in my life. Don't bother coming back if you decide to choose someone else over me. Once you come to realization that I was the one who had your back, provided stability, and served as your safe place. Please do not attempt to return. If you do get played once, you cannot let it happen again, cause then the blame is less on them and more on you. Now this next one tells you why you shouldn't put so much trust in others. Because people are not you. One day randomly and decide to be on bullshit. It could be today, it could be next week, it could be next month, it could be next year. Somebody that, that you thought was genuinely cool enough to bring into your home could wake up one day out of thin air and decide, man, I'm going to be weird, man. Sometimes we meet people to show them we're true unconditional love is and sometimes those people met us to show us not to be so naive with that true unconditional love 
there's a lesson in that. Hopefully that person goes on and treats somebody the way you treated them. And hopefully you go on understanding that not everybody deserves the kind of love that you have. It's a hard lesson. Now that was just deep. Yet just because you decided to treat someone well does not mean that they'll even recognize it. Really hope you enjoyed these ones today and don't forget to like, subscribe and become a channel member today if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one.